In this video, we're going to walk through a sales performance analysis of managers and their employees in a higher graphical chart. We will be utilizing IDs for both the parent and children nodes. The manager is the parent field in this example, with the employee name as the child node. The spark line will be based off of month and year. We'll be doing a comparison of budget and forecast for the employees, and additional fields for the employee name, their job title, their region, and their image. To start this demo, we'll come over to Sales Performance Analysis Start. And you might observe that the default hierarchy that we have here is going to be very wide when it's putting all of them at one level. So we have some other options by expanding out the ribbon up here to full. We're going to come over to layout and let's explore some of the other choices in here. If we do mixed, we can see that it all comes down into a single column per manager, but we do want to spread it out a little bit more. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like under the tree mode. Now we're going to get a clustering of the employees underneath each of the individual managers. So this holds in the horizontal space quite well on a report page. Additionally, we're going to come up to map fields and ensure that our image is being used. We're going to place that in here, select submit. Additionally, if we'd like to see the region on any of the individual cards, we also have an option to come over to take the region in here, add it to the tooltip well. And notice now if we hover over any employee, we will be given a region option right below their name that will represent the region they are currently being hosted in or work in. In addition to the tooltip configuration, let's also explore some of the orientation options we have. So we're currently defaulting to top. If we were to select this from the bottom, we can see that the hierarchy can be built from the bottom down, similarly from the right or from the left directions, or even as well from the others well, from the top left all the way down if we wanted to add a certain additional direction in addition to the four primary ones. Since we have budget and forecast in here, we do have an option for KPIs and variances to choose the primary one to display on the card itself. So because we have budget selected, it will compare to forecast. If we select forecast, it's going to compare the variance to the budget. I'd also like to come over to the spark line, change the chart type to a spline chart to add a little bit of a curved line into there and also go to the measure selection. And let's go ahead and turn off the budget to just show the forecast line in here as well. And if we wanted to, we can even come to chart type and move that to a spline area chart to add a little bit of a line fill in here as well. And if we want to call out certain individuals, we can come up to conditional formatting, add a new rule, and call this one high variance. And we'll come down to if budget, scroll all the way down, select the variance percentage, and say that if it's less than 20%, let's go ahead and color the cards red. And we'll close out of this. And then you, we can see over on the left, the high variance legend in here. And if we select that, then it will highlight all of the cards in the hierarchy. And last but not least, we can also add notes to any of these cards as well. So Joanna, let's go ahead and add a note to her. So we'll set add note here. And then the notes we can type into here, add a color to the marker and select save, which will then add the comment here, which will show up as well on a tooltip. 